I'm Sabrina Samuels, and welcome to my show, Upfront and Personal. It's my intention to deliver information that will help us maintain a quality lifestyle in all aspects of our lives. So let's get started. Welcome to my video blog. I'm Sabrina Samuels and I thank you for tuning in. Well, before we get started, you know I'm gonna plug my online training program, The School of Opulence. It is exciting, it is good, it is easy, and it will elevate you, it will level you up in whatever capacity you choose. Here's a testimonial. My name is Linda and I just completed my uh, complimentary coaching call with Sabrina and it was awesome. First of all, I, what I noted is that she's an extremely good listener and was able to take the things that I was saying to her even when I was rambling and pinpoint what I was saying, which helped me to um, guide me in a direction of what I was really needing and looking for. Going through the personal success diary workbook uh, with her directly has given me more clarity that now I want to go back and redo and, and re-answer the, the questions from a, a new perspective and a new mindset. She also helped me reframe some uh, negative thoughts and beliefs that I had uh, regarding a specific area of my life that was challenging being fearful of it coming up in, uh, in, a, in a relationship, a future relationship. And I know at this very moment that that would no longer be an issue for me. Praise God. And I appreciate all the support and the help and um, the dedication that Sabrina has given to her program and the, the personal success diary and workbook. It is worth every penny and every <laughs> minute that you put into it. Thank you. I'd like to thank that beautiful young lady for her testimonial and for her patronage. Okay, on this edition, I did not take a question or re read a question right now because I want to talk to you about something that is really dear to my mind. And so many of us, we fall short. And that is never let negative experiences bring you down and keep you down. Never let negative experiences bring you down and keep you down. This is very important for you to hear what I'm saying because so often we experience it and th this is life. This is the world and we're going through tumultuous times right now. We're, we're just, the world is in a tipsy-turvy uh, balancing act right now. And so many people are going through so many things, but you still have the power to change your thought pattern to change your mind on how you feel and think and see things. See it for right, see it for good. That's why you hear me say divine order all the time. So I, I'm gonna talk about never allowing negative experiences to bring you down and keep you down. One reason I admire April Mason, and if you don't know her, you need to get to know April Mason. She is an outstanding woman in her own right because she had a tumultuous childhood, went to a foster, not foster care, I don't know if she went to foster care, but I do, do know that she lived in a house um, for uh, women who were homeless, and she pulled herself up. I mean, this woman is so dynamic, and I did mention to you before to purchase her book, Identity Switch. If you have not picked up that book, you need to get it. You can get it off Amazon. You can go to her Facebook page, April Mason. She has information on her Facebook page. You need to get that book and read how she overcame so many obstacles. 
And I'm going to have her as a guest on my show soon. She's traveling now, doing a lot of things. She's involved in a lot of positive things, changing women's lives like I change women's lives. She does too. She teaches women how to have that softer side, get rid of that hustle side, still, you know, take care of business, of course, but have, have a more genteel way of doing it. So check her out. She'll be on my show soon. And uh, here's a surprise picture of her, this photo. Uh, she won uh, an, uh, an award uh, a few months ago, and she sent me a photo, and I just, I just admire her so much. And congratulations again, April. We're proud of you, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Okay, let's dive right into it. People suffer because we allow ourselves to suffer. People won't move forward because sometimes we allow ourselves to be stagnant in negativity. What happened to me when I was a child? What happened to me when I was this or that? This happened to me. I could write a book about what happened to me when I was a child, just like you could write a book about some of the experiences you've had. But I took all of the negative things that happened to me when I was growing up and turned it into positive. My mother was dying of cancer. We were in high school. That was a tumultuous time for us. But I had to show my mom before she passed away that she had done a good job raising me, raising her children. I was an NFL debater. I received a scholarship to college. I didn't take that scholarship, but I did receive a grant when I did decide to go to another university. But I did that because I wanted my mom to know it was going to be all right. She did a good job. I would go to different universities and debate. That helped me, NFL debater, National Forensic League. I turned the sadness of seeing my mom dying and the sadness of seeing so many negative things that happened to me when I was growing up, and I turned it into a positive. I said, I refuse to be defeated. Why is it that we remember the bad experiences verbatim? Somebody can ask you about your life and you can just rattle off that bad stuff. Blah, 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 blah. But you have to think about the good stuff. You know, we need to change that way we think, that, that, that uh, programming in our mind, in our subconscious mind. We need to change it. And no one can change it but you. My program is wonderful if you follow directions and do what you need to do. My coaching sessions are wonderful if you follow directions and do what you need to do. Don't think you can call me up or April Mason or any success coach and expect in two or three hours or a, a session or a coaching session or, or taking um, sessions, mini sessions, that it's just going to happen for you. You've got to do the work. You've got to make up in your mind you can do it. We lean on negativity. We lean on punishing ourselves and punishing others because we have not figured it out yet. And what you have to figure out is if you do the work, you will succeed. If you keep your positive mindset, you will start achieving some of the positive things that you want in life. Don't look at other people and see what they have and think it's yours and think you deserve it. If you haven't done the work, no, you don't. You don't. But if you've done the work, then you move forward and let nobody stop you. Don't allow people to stop you or block you ever. And don't stop or block anyone. But the elevation comes when you make it happen. And when those negative things creep into your mind, you have to say, no more. I gave you time. I moped around. I lost weight. I gained weight. I hurt myself. I de deprived myself of great opportunities because I let you get in my mind. Now, I've done that already. So get behind me. Give yourself a mental cleaning, like you have to clean out your phone. It says, let's clean out the, you, you, you're overloaded, you're gonna stop working in a minute. We gotta do our minds the same way. We have to clean our minds out and make things happen. So I just wanted to say that, and I hope that that's resonated with your subconscious mind, with you. It just tickled the memory a little bit. You already know this information, but it tickles your memory. I have to tickle my memory on a regular basis. Because the older you get, the more you want to just give up and say, well, I'm set in life. I did it the right way financially. I can just sit back and relax. 
But then what is your purpose? Are you going to charities? Are you helping people in need? Are you going to help people in shelters? Are you giving these monies to different charities that you know work, that are helping people move forward? Are you giving some good advice to young kids in your neighborhood? Feed your mind like you feed your body. And don't worry about the hate, the haters. Don't worry about people who try to stop you and block you, because honey, only you can stop or block yourself. If God gives you the green light, you better take it. Don't say, I want this, but, but maybe, uh, maybe I'm not worthy, or maybe I'm this or that, or maybe I can't make it because of, stop that, don't do it. It will mess you up. It serves to be a bad, deviant experience when you do that. Don't do it. Well, I hope that's been something that tickled your memory a little bit. I have to tickle my memory every day. And I'm so proud of April Mason. April, we love you over here. And I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. You and your dynamic daughter, congratulations on her marriage. And you keep up the good work. And I'm going to keep up the good work too. And I hope all of you out there keep up the good work. It's good that wins in the end. I guarantee it. Until next week, I'm Sabrina Samuels wishing you love, peace, happiness, and our Heavenly Father's divine order. Thank you.